Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Thursday morning. Uh, drove down. I haven't fished a stream in probably four years, so not really sure what to expect, but it's uh, it's always been good in the past, so I uh, expect it to be good today, but going to head through there in just a minute and uh, make my way to the water. But uh, got a little bit of clouds in the forecast today, some scattered thunderstorms, so uh, I think the cloud cover is actually going to help the bite a little bit. Some of the fish are kind of getting a little spooky with the... Uh, the bright conditions. So anyway, going to uh, put the hat on and make my way to the water and let's see if we can find some fish. Got to grab my three weight. I lift it up on top of there. Don't want to leave it. So it's the end of September. You can see the growth is pretty high. All right. First look at this little pretty stream. Like I said, beautiful fall day. Everything's changing. Weather, leaves, seasons. It's gonna start off nymphing. Maybe uh, if I'm lucky, get into some dry fly action like I did yesterday. Bam, stalkers. So it's just a little, little hole right here. Got a little shelf coming. It drops off. And just held up in that hole right there. They're all stalkers. Might be a brown in there somewhere. But it's good fun.
All right, so I hear a lot of thunder and it's getting cloudy. So I'm going to walk back to the car and see if this pushes over. Now, I really said it wasn't supposed to be here until like 2.45, but it's like 9.45, so I don't know. But I don't like the way that thunder sounds, so I don't want to get struck by lightning, because that's no fun. All right, so <laughs> looks like it's going to rain. Definitely hear thunder. Got super dark. And I don't know. Gonna just kind of wait here for a little bit and see if this blows over. Maybe it'll clear up, maybe just a quick thunderstorm and then I can go fishing again. I don't know. Grab something to eat. It's too early for a beer. Otherwise, it's 10 20. <laughs> I don't know. I might reconsider. All right guys, so we had like an hour rain delay, but uh, moved out, the water's still clear, which is kind of cool, because I was kind of expecting it to be blown out, chocolate milk, but so far so good. So, gonna hike back where I left off, and hopefully catch some fish. It's gonna be a good day. Brown. All right, so it's raining. We're still fishing though. The lens might get a little messed up, but fish are biting, so I'm gonna keep fishing. Do what I can to protect it, but you know, what can you do?
Right, it's kind of funny how this worked out today because I was just sitting in camp like maybe two mornings ago and drinking coffee and I was thinking, it was that morning I didn't want to get up and go an hour and a half away and I was thinking, I'll just go ahead and share with you guys a tip you'd been asking for and it was just about fishing stained water and not getting discouraged because um, it's not gin clear and usually gin clear means spooky, uh, it's gonna be a challenging day whereas a little bit of stain, like today, got here early, nothing but rainbow, stockfish, rain comes through, stains up a little bit and next thing you know, I've probably caught two to one uh, wild browns to stock rainbows now. It's just uh, get a little stain in the water. Don't get discouraged uh, You're probably gonna have a better day because the wild fish when it's crystal clear out and the sun is beating down on them They tend to get in the moss and like right against it and you have to have like perfect drifts and a lot of times They just they're just real picky on when they're gonna eat but get a little stain. They feel comfortable. They eat It's kind of funny how it worked out today. Got to show it in real life. It's kind of cool. All right. That's it. Man, what a fantastic day. Um, started off kind of sketchy with the rain um, and the storms. I started out about 9.30 and by probably 10.15, um, the lightning had kicked in and the thunder was you know, going and the rain was coming down. So I had to got in the car, drove up and got some service, kind of checked out the, the thing. And good thing I did too, because there was a special weather statement and some strong storms coming through. So, um, but what I realized was it only lasted about an hour. So I just hung out in the, in the uh, in the condo, the mobile condo, and waited for the, the weather to pass. Um, uh, you know, I got there, I was kinda, 
wasn't sure what I was going to find, but, uh, you know, with all the rain, you know, I was afraid it was going to be chocolate milk, but uh, it was just a little bit of stain. So, and if you saw my video about dealing with uh, stained water and why I get excited about fishing it, you want to check that out because as soon as I saw the water, I was like, man, it's going to be a good day. And it was. Um, pulled up on the first hole and caught a couple wild browns almost immediately. Um, and then the day just got better after that. Lost track of how many rainbows and uh, wild browns. It was just, uh, you know, you get that stained water and the fish get a little bit more comfortable and you can get a little closer to them. And yeah, just like I said before, um, I look forward to it. When I see that stained water, I get excited about it. And it didn't blow out. I was afraid it was going to like just, the, you know, eventually all the all the water would end up in the in the stream and it would make its way downstream and we would just get blown out. But never happened. It was a good day. Uh, fishing was fantastic. You guys have been asking about my setup, so I'm not trying to keep it a secret. Um, I just usually forget while I'm fishing, so I'm back at camp. It's a little busier than normal, and I feel a little dumb talking to the camera while there's people around, but I'm going to go ahead and run through my setup real fast. So let me drop this here. All right, guys, so my rod, 7.5 foot Superfine Carbon from Orbis. Uh, it's a three weight. Match that up with Bat and Kill. Uh, the number two so it's a small reel anyway palm clicks nothing special uh fly line is always pro textured it's a three weight i like textured lines um some people can't stand the sound but i don't care about the sound i like the performance indicator dorsey yarn indicator i like those i dig them um leader is the orvis nylon it's a seven and a half foot three x i tie on another foot of four x that gets me to my tippet ring for my tippet ring i had another foot and a half or so of 4x to my first fly so overall it's gonna give me about a 10 foot 10 and a half foot leader um and then my first fly on this trip i used fish two flies um and the fly that I had the most success with most of uh the last two days is this little bead head nip it's just a little hair's ear then it's got some uh gold wire and a little hairs here, it's just black dubbing. Um, and then right before I would finish, I put a little bit of black UV ice dub. Um, this is the fly I used all yesterday. From that 4X, I was fishing a worm today because, you know, you had some stain and some high water. Um, and uh, yesterday, I didn't need it. All I fished yesterday was this fly. So, in front of my tippy ring, got two shots. This is a BB, and that's a number six. These are 10, so they look a little bit bigger than normal. That's pretty much it. Um, I fished one fly all day, uh, and the worm definitely got more got more eats, but uh, the bead head caught a lot of fish as well. So uh, I'll probably show, do a time video on a couple of these um, in the winter, whenever it gets uh, the fishing slows down a little bit and put some stuff together. I have another fly that was, has been really productive up here. That's pretty much all I got. This trip is done. I'm going to head home, do some videos, um, start playing next trip, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. It's uh, time to make some dinner. It's been a good trip. Thanks for watching, guys.